Yeah. It is cold getting out the door. Absolutely. You're either side of 20 degrees in the actual temperature right now. Many of us have dipped to the teens. High temperatures today are only going to make it to the mid 30s, but you're doing it with a ton of sun. So you want the sunglasses today. The wind chill, you know, even by the time the kids are getting on the bus, let's say around 8 o'clock this morning, your wind chill is either side of 10. Uh, and then as we get toward lunchtime, you feel like either side of 20. When the kids are headed home from school, you're feeling like the mid 20s. And by the time we get to this evening, still feeling like about 20 or 25 degrees. Tonight, we drop down not too far on temperature. We'll probably hold in the 20s. And then tomorrow, uh, you come into the 30s for highs, by the way things look right now. So it's still going to be cool, but there'll be clouds in tomorrow because the storm is drawing closer. The clouds are riding hundreds of miles in advance of the storm. That's why I say it'll get cloudy tomorrow, but the storm's not in yet. In my memo for you, look, I believe today's forecast I'm about to give you is the best forecast possible today. Uh, that is to say that new information comes in in the next 24 hours. And this storm does have what I call double bust potential when it comes to amounts, which means there's two ways that meteorologists could blow the forecast. I'm going to show you here in a second. Regardless, it'll at least snow for most of us. The first way we talked about a couple of days ago here on the broadcast, which is that the energy when it gets here is very strung out. Lots of times when you get this, that first round on Saturday night, that'll deliver snow. But on Sunday, do you see how elongated the energy is? A lot of times that really favors the storm developing farther to the east. And so that means the Sunday snow, I think, is kind of in jeopardy. I don't know that it would necessarily be all that strong. So that's the first way that things could go off the rails. The second way is the ocean. Look at the ocean water temperatures, 46 degrees right at the entrance to the Gulf of Maine, 44 in Boston Harbor. The wind's going to be out of the east and northeast, so that is certain to limit coastal snow. But, you know, we may be underestimating the influence, especially the guidance, uh, the computer guidance that goes into this may be underestimating the influence of this. It could actually cut amounts all the way out to 495. So right now we've got it cutting amounts to 95, but that's the second way I could see things going wrong. I have no problem with being honest with you on where things can go wrong. Sometimes folks say, well, that, that deteriorates the credibility of your forecast. No, I I'm going to give the best forecast, which is to find cloudy skies on Saturday. Here comes the snow, light snow breaking out as we head in toward dinner time. Patches coming in off the ocean. Steadier stuff, southwest Connecticut at 6 p.m., filling in between 9 and 11, snowing during the overnight on Saturday night. Here's what I mean about Sunday. Do you see how it's already shutting down at what time? 7 in the morning in western New England. There are holes in it when you get into eastern Mass, still snowing off the ocean through noon, and then afternoon uh, pretty much falling apart and drifting off to the south and east. So what I'm telling you is that with the way the energy is set up, if it develops to the east even a little bit faster, that would limit amounts even a little bit more. But here's the overall kind of best forecast for you. Nothing when you get onto Cape Cod where it's almost all rain, except near the canal, could be a dusting to an inch for you. One to two inches if you're within, let's say, about 10 miles of the coastline or so. Two to four inches as you start getting in to the Metro West and the I-95 corridor. We've got four to six right now from Franklin to Framingham, back up to Lowell and running up 495, and around six the farther inland that you go, the farther north and west that you go. Again, this is barring more ocean air that kind of comes into play, and that's something I think we do want to watch for a trend here over the course of the next 24 hours in particular. The farther west and north you go, you start running out of moisture when you get across ski country, which doesn't mean no snow. It just means not as much by the way things look now. Here's a look to the extended forecast for you. Again, the timing on this would be a Saturday evening start as light snow, a late evening 9 to 11 p.m. ramp up. And then it probably cuts out in intensity, certainly by the time we get to midday Sunday, but it may even be on Sunday morning that it really backs off in intensity. Next storm is a mix to rain on Tuesday night to Wednesday with 50 still in the forecast Wednesday midday.